welcome to FX Street. I would encourage you to head on over to YouTube, join our channel, hit that subscribe button. You can follow uh, Kasha and I individually on Twitter, Kasha Mangyeko, and myself at Just Analysis One. Ethereum, uh, we just did Bitcoin's video, and yeah, I tell you what, Ethereum's a Ethereum's a tricky chart. You are a bull and a bear. So if you're a bear, um, Ethereum has checked all the boxes that you would need to go short. It confirmed an ideal bearish Ichimoku breakout. It uh, broke down below this bearish pennant. And I mean, everything that you would need uh, for an aggressive entry occurred. And then everything that you need for conservative entry because it came down and then it moved back up, moved back inside the pennant and tested on Thursday, or sorry, Wednesday. Tested the Tenkin Sen and the Kitchen Sen was rejected. So everything that occurred on Wednesday and following into Thursday screamed, okay, well, that was the retest and, and it failed to move higher. That is what, I mean, this is what a lot of conservative, you know, traders wait for to go short. Um, they don't wait for the, they, they don't take the initial break. They wait for the retest to confirm that that break was legitimate, which it, it, you know, in any case, it, it shows that it was. But like, uh, like many other times over the last two months, just not a lot of follow through by bears. That they're unable or unwilling to uh, push it down further south. And now, you know, Ethereum at the time of recording here, it's it's showing a little bit of a bullish bounce, kind of coming right back to where it was at the open, and the 2022 volume profile is now sitting at 26.25, um, just above that 618 Fib retracement at 25.71. Is it going to keep moving up? Uh, it, it could. You know, when you see this, I mean, ultimately, when you look at the wicks here, it is forming higher lows uh, at the same time as making lower highs. But ultimately, you know, when you look at it from an oscillator perspective, it is, it could, it, I know this is probably going to sound not very uh, uh, technical, but it could go either way. <laughs> the structure here is overwhelmingly bearish, so it's definitely yield, you know, pointing to downside movement. But um, tell you what, as the days move on, you know, especially when we get into, uh, let's see, Monday, Tuesday, when we get into the 18th, um, the threshold that Ethereum needs to make to convert into a you know a, a full bullish new bullish extension move it it gets reduced quite a bit and then even look a little bit more forward here over the next let's see, time measure like from here to over the next 21 days 20 days it is um it, it gets even easier for ethereum to break out so there's a lot of things uh pointing to it pausing and then and then moving, but we'll see. You know, upside potential before we talk again on Tuesday, I would say it's limited to the top of the cloud at 3,100. And downside pressure, it could be extensive. Um, you know, if this if this holds up and it continues to move below the Tankinson and the Kitchenson and we, we close below that pennant, it's probably, I, I'm anticipating it heading down to that $1,800 range where the, um, that uh, one hundred percent fib expansion is at. So that's what I see for Ethereum. I'll, I'll pass it off to you, Ash. Thank you, John. Right. So from a one-day time frame, I am kind of looking exactly the same thing that John was looking at. Uh, supplies are extending from two point nine k to three point four k. Uh, has held up pretty good. And the weekly support right now is something that I'm watching. Or from a daily time frame, it does look like the price closed below that and the support level was kind of invalidated here quite a bit. And then now that we've moved above it, it's again acting as support. But from a one week time frame, the support level, as you can see here, the previous weekly candlestick closed above it, all the candlesticks here. So depends on how we close uh, this week. The, if this week's uh, candlestick closes below that, then I'm expecting the follow through. Uh, and 
the theoretical targets forecast that forecast for roughly 26% downswing, uh, which puts it at 1.96. So I'm kind of uh, leaning bearish, mainly because the upside for Ethereum is kind of filled with a lot of resistance levels. First, we have this uh, 50 day moving average, which is the blue line. And as you can see here, ever since price moved below that, uh, it, it has not had the momentum to move higher. Same year, same year, same year. So it kind of reminds me a lot of DOT. And beyond this, right, we have this weekly supply zone, which also contains the 100, weekly moving, 100 daily moving average and the 200 daily moving average. So upside, as I've been uh, saying for quite some time, it's capped at roughly around 3.6K. And the downside for now, if we get a weekly close below $2,541, I'm expecting uh, it to drop all the way down to 2K uh, and probably $1,962. $1, That's my take on Ethereum. Well, thank you, Akash, and thank you everyone for watching. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.